I forgot to tell you. So May 13, my experience of May 13 is, yes, I was that little kid. And because our house is very long, right? Remember I told you, stretch from Beach Street to Victoria Street. So as a young kid, of course, you want to know what's happening because the FRUs were actually on the road. They were patrolling the road because it is curfew. Yeah. But being young and inquisitive, you open the window to have a look, yeah. right? You're not supposed to open it. You open the window, they will throw tear gas into you. Right. And I think we we got <laughs> we got a bulk of the tear gas thrown into our shop. But because our lucky thing, our house is so long. So we all went to the back. Right. To the back of <laughs> run all the way to the other side of the road. Yeah. So that was May 13. That was my experience. I remember smelling the tear gas, but we ran ran to the back of the house, which is so long. Lucky thing, lucky. I don't know if it's short, I don't know what happened, but you know. Yeah. So it was quite, I mean, that was a scary moment. But when you were young, you were like, yeah. It was quite fun. It's like, what is happening out there? I need to see what's yeah, happening yeah. out there without knowing the danger part of it, you know? Yeah. yeah. It, uh, the, 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 the riots only happened uh, main, mainly in uh, Penang and KL. Uh, yes. Other, the other uh, uh, cities like Johor, Kuantan, uh, Kota Baru, uh, Tanga and, and, and Ipoh, uh, not much. In fact, the East Coast side, really quiet. Like, they had no, no idea that, that there was this big riot happening in the West Coast uh, of, of, mm. uh, of, of Malaysia at that time. Yeah. I mean, to me, Malaysia is a very nice country. You know, like the way my experience, my, my memory of Malaysia was really nice. My growing up years, you know, multiracial. In hmm. school, very multiracial. We mix around. We have no, nothing against each other. The only thing I remember is that never touched the Malays, Malay girls' head because to them it's taboo. Don't touch their head. I remember a friend who always eats and she will just close her food up. So after a while, you, you respect that. You just automatically respect yeah. that. Hey, don't touch my head. Okay, don't touch my head. You know, it's like no big thing about it. Like you don't don't go and disturb people. If people say, don't touch. Okay, don't touch. That's their culture. Leave it. That's people's culture. Respect that. You know, yeah. So everybody just know how to respect each other. So that yeah. was really nice. So when I first came into Australia, I really said, Malaysia is a beautiful country. We are very multiracial. We live together in harmony. And that's the beauty of Malaysia. You know, yeah. I always tell people that, you know. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I yeah. think in certain way, it is still the same if there is no particularly anyone who is, you know, very, um, uh, very, say, very racial, I, I think it's still quite all right, I guess. It, I mean, I don't know. I only go back once every once in a while, and, but I still think Malaysia is a beautiful country. Uh, but, uh, down, I think down to our generation, we know that. But like down to your children's generation, but because generation, they don't care. It's like, what made the thing? You know, like, what? You know, to them, it's like nothing. You talk about something that's far away, long yeah. time ago, it probably won't affect them anymore. So only to our generation because we live through that. You know, if not after that, I don't think. No, I think it will still affect them. If, if the polit politicians keep playing this game, then it will affect them. Because 